Hey everybody, this is Tony here at Arcad Woods. Today, um, back, uh, you, can you see that swale I have here? I've got one here, and I got one on the other side of the drive. Reason is, when it rains, this all gets wet, water would flow down there and used to wash out the side of the driveway. So, rule is, if you want to, to control your water, you make it go where it wants. So the water will travel the least resistance. So to keep it where I can control it, I just made this. I did this now, it's been about two years ago. What I've got to do now is, and this is normal because it does happen. Can you see the, the crack that's right here? Okay. I got to clean that crack up a little bit. I got a little grinder. I'm just going to touch that crack up just a little bit. Go all the way down. Concrete shrinks. All right. And what happens is, see how big that is there. I got to clean that up. Um, what happens is, is if you get cold weather, you get ice and water. Water gets in there, turns into ice. Or ice expands, and that will break concrete. Now, I do have these. Do have two things of rebar in them, but it don't make a difference. You still have to. You still have to. You see how that cracked open there? That cracked open right there because I stopped concrete and I thought I had enough concrete and I did not. I don't know what happened, but that's why that cracked. Got to leave with it and that's it. But this here I can control all the way around. So I got the other side to do. I'll show you what I've got. But this is right here. Self-leveling is for cracks. And all you do is squirt it out. It's gray in color. I've used this many times. It's a large, this is the large uh, 29 ounce one. I'll have enough to do that whole area, both sides. It stays rubbery, but it connects to concrete. And what we got to do is just make sure you've got a good clean, clean edge. Clean it up. If it's damp, let it dry out because it will not stick to it if it's wet. I'll probably have to do that this one time. Probably not in my lifetime have to do it again. The stuff works really good. But anywhere you've got cracks. Now you see these here. Those are not cracks. Those are cuts that are made for expansion of concrete. If it's going to break anywhere, that's what I did. When I poured the concrete driveway, I did the, uh, I did all my cuts. You can see all my cuts in my driveway. All my expansion cracks. I've done them all. Believe it or not, I did all these cuts with a uh, circular saw. I just put a concrete bit on it and did it. Now, this is full of sand in here, but it goes down about a half inch. Maybe it's an inch deep, I figured. The uh, driveway is six inches thick. I wanted it thicker because I had my camper was going down here all the time. And I had a couple other big trucks are here all the time, too. And uh, I just, and I've learned at my uh, other house, driveways and concrete. On this edge here, this corner, and this right here about two foot back, it's dug down about a foot deep. And that's a foot thick of like a footer with concrete. The uh, builder told me I was overbuilding. And I looked at him, I said, yeah, isn't that what you want to do? This isn't bare minimum code. I want it right. That's what this house is. So we've got extra concrete. We should never break a tip off the concrete. As far as I know, we should never. Unless I drove a 10-ton truck over there, probably snap it. But here, I shouldn't have to worry about it. I grind out all the rough edges all the way down and I'll go ahead and take the blower and I'll blow it all out the rough edges that way the because this is uh, um, self-leveling and I want the, the glue to go into the groove more than if it had catched edges so I'll blow this all out all the way down and uh, get this side done. I'll knock out all the chunks. 
All right. All right, you can tell I didn't go all the way down on this one side because it's not cracked yet at all. So I'm not gonna make it crack, I'm just gonna leave it be. I can always add on to it later. But I did grind all that down, knocked off all the waste, the edges. See how like that's unsharp, right? I mean, that's all chunky right there. I took that away over here by grinding it up, grinding it. That way, all the sealer will fall deep in the groove and not hang up on something like that. most of it is done any kind of mistakes that you have kind of like I had a, a smear job there it's like I said it's self-leveling here's a spot that pine cone that little uh, acorn sat in I've seen one spot I gotta go ahead and put some more in it's gonna be right down here because gaps are big see it right there other than that it's looking good guys We've got a good seal all the way down. Maybe put some right there again too. So let me touch up those two areas and I'm gonna move on the other side of the driveway. All right, let's go hit this. the big globs like that I could take a razor later like later on and cut it but you can see how it's all falling in its groove it's becoming nice and smooth <clears throat> excuse me you do not want to cr fill these cracks these do not go all the way through they're only about an inch deep these are expansion cracks so if you, you ever know sometimes concrete breaks driveways they're broken and a lot of times if you look you don't see an expansion crack that's what that crack is for. So if the driveway was a snap, it snaps in that spot so it's hidden. Um, you can see it come out real good going all the way down it. Kind of if you make a mistake, the self-leveling takes the mistake out. Let's go back over here. Let's see here. You can see it looks really good. Like I said, that stuff, I can just scrape it off the razor. We'll let it dry. 
it all looks really good. I may put some more right there in that little spot. Everywhere else looks good. I touched up. You can even see where I touched up the other spots. Right there, I may need to put some more too. Maybe right there. But that's fine, because those were large, deep cracks. Let's get them now. The longer it sits, the more it goes down right there too. So, all right. I'll let that set up for just a little bit. <laughs> I leaned on the tube and I bent the tube over. So I have, you can see, there's not much left in the caulking tube. It's almost gone. I'll have enough to run around and touch up wherever I need to. I'll let that set for another five, 10 minutes and then I'll hit this over here in that same time. So as far as I'm concerned, the driveway is sealed. Cracks from any kind of severe cold weather, ice, basically. Rain, you know, you always get rain you get, and then it freezes that night or snow and it melts and it freezes. You, that's the stuff you don't want on this. And that's what will break it, separate it. All right, guys, we're gonna go. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate everything. Really do. And uh, y'all have a great day.